What's going on YouTube? Jeans here. Welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we're using a brand new Pokemon for competitive battles. We got ourselves Origin Form Dialga. Now, Origin Form Dialga was released in Legends Arceus, which as you guys know, had no online content. And now that's in Scarlet and Violet and Regulation G is coming out, we are finally able to use this Pokemon in competitive play. So it should be super fun. Hopefully I showcase this Pokemon really well for you guys. But Origin Form Dialga over here has telepathy just like original Dialga has as its ability. And on top of that, it's holding the Adamant Crystal, its signature item. It's got Flash Cannon, it's got Draco Meteor, Flamethrower, and Trick Room. This Pokemon's going to be able to thrive out in Trick Room, do some big time damage. Another Pokemon that thrives out in Trick Room on today's team is going to be Ursa Luna. Guts, Flame Orb, Facade, EQ, Headlong Rush, Protect, you guys seen that plenty of times. We have two other Trick Room setters on today's team. We got Cresselia over here, and we have Fluttermane with the choice specs. That is just going to be like an emergency situation Trick Room. If we need it, it's there. Our final two Pokemon on today's team is going to be Incineroar, Reaper Intimidates, Fake Outs, Parting Shots, and then we have Wellspring Ogre Pond. I have Cudgel, Horn Leech, Follow Me, Spike Shield. You guys already know what's going on with that Pokemon. Guys, you want to rent the team for yourself? Rental code is at the top right hand corner. And if you do enjoy today's video, make sure you leave a like on it and subscribe to the channel. Without further ado, let's hop into our first match, showcasing Origin Form Dialga. Hopping into our first match for today's video, and we are going up against an absolute unit of a team. Mewtwo, Miraidon, Koridon, Palkia, Charizard, and Chestnut. Really cool team, actually. A lot of cool Pokemon on it, but I wanted to check out Dialga's speed, and it is on the lower side with an insane special attack. 222. God dang! God dang, that's real high. I'm going to end up leading Dialga alongside with Cress. I believe both of them could be pretty good. We don't have any weather control, which is a little tough because they could just go into like Coridon and Solar Power Charizard. Which I don't like one bit. I do not like one bit. Not one bit. Actually, I could go into both of these guys and maybe just protect Ursa Luna. I think that's better than Pop Trickling with Dialga. I really like that. I really like that. Or honestly, I could just go these two, bring Ursa Luna in the back end alongside with wellspring ogre pond that's something i like actually more so we don't have to waste a slot going in with a support pokemon like crest we could just set trick room with the algo we can protect our ursa luna we can really get after it or i could just straight up attack but the good thing about origin form dialga next to ursa luna is it has telepathy which means i can eq freely without worrying about hitting my dialga we love it we love that so much it's just massive it is massive but we'll see who they want to end up leading here hopefully it is not the double weather and it's not it's just gonna be these two chestnut alongside with Coridon. and wow origin form dialga is massive oh my lord like Coridon's big enough right Coridon is big enough but having origin form dialga next i think it makes it look so tiny but from here i'm going to pop trick room and on top of that i'm gonna fake out the Coridon here just not trying to deal too much with that but we did intimidate both of them which are two big time physical attackers so fake out's gonna fly here and we're gonna flinch the Coridon on top of that he's gonna go for a rock slizzle which is not that big of a deal it's super effective under my Incineroar but you're minus one on attack and it's not stab and Tiago soaked it no problem yo this thing is massive I'm loving it I am loving it but from here you know what we are just gonna go straight into a flamethrower here get rid of you and I'm just gonna go for a parting shot into Coridon and switch into my Ursaluna and honestly, that's who I thought I led was Ursa Luna. He ends up going for a Drain Punch, doing a decent amount of damage. We're pretty bulky. Flamethrower should KO in the sun. Yeah, get it on out my face. And we should be able to thrive out here in Magic Mirror. So see you later, Chestnut. I did think I, I led my Ursa Luna, but this actually works 10 times better. Party Shot flies, and we are now going to go into Ursa Luna. And we have this thing minus two. We have it minus two on attack, which is huge. Which is huge. We got Origin Palkia out here, or not Palkia, Origin Dialga. I'm sorry, Dialga. I didn't mean to disrespect you like that. Alongside with Ursa Luna Bear. We love the bear. So the bear is here, and the bear is tiny. Collision Core is going to fly through here, and this is... Oh, this could kill us. No, it's not going to kill us, but it's going to do some damage. Yeah. Yeah, nice little stab fighting move. I do trigger my guts at the same time. And we already have Trick Room out, so it's just a massive play for us. It's just a massive play for us. So Dialga sitting here, being as big as it possibly can be. Rhydon is going to come out here, and... I honestly think EQ can just double KO. I honestly think. I honestly think EQ just double KOs. I know it's KO and Coridon. Hmm. I'm just going to go for a Flash Cannon in this slot. 
It's definitely Cam Karidon. Actually, let's double down into let's double down into Karidon. This is I thought it was super effective onto him. Now let's just go EQ with telepathy across the board. We're not gonna use the terror here either. They're not gonna terror here either. We love it. So EQ comes out here. Telepathy. We love it. Your ride on gone. So good thing we did double down into Karidon. And I maybe should have popped the Draco meter because this might not KO. Let's see. Let's see. It does. Beautiful. Awesome. Get it on out my face. So team of legendaries getting dumped on by my Trick Room Origin Dialga team. We love it. It's actually not my team. I'll give a shout out after this matchup because I honestly I kind of forgot. So match number two will end up doing that. I kind of just reminded myself to do it. So we'll, we'll do it. We'll do it. But me too comes out here. As their final Pokemon, and I'm pretty sure they're just going to cancel this match. I'm going to throw a Draco Meteor their way. And on top of that, a big time headlong rush. And that should be the match. We are not winning this match. We are not winning this match. It's over. And now they finally choose a Terrasilize. I think Terrasilize and the ride on last turn probably would have been in your best interest. Unless you didn't have a good Terror type for it. And they just go in the straight Psychic. So, just looking for a damage output here. I mean, it, it's pretty much over. It is over with. This headlong rush is just up on Mewtwo, right? I believe it should. Guts, Flame Orb, we love it. Get it on out of here. So 1-0 to get things started. Let's go hop into our second match. Look to keep on thriving with Origin Form Dialga. So guys, I forgot to give a huge shout out to the team creator, my man, Giordi VGC. Thank you so much for making this team and sending it to me over on Twitter or X, whatever you guys want to call it. It's whatever. I, I still call it Twitter. But Giordi, thank you so much. I will be linking his page down in the description below alongside with Pokeface. So if you guys want to check out the team, it will be down in the description. But we're going up against another Miraidon team. This time it kind of looks kind of trick roomish considering they have a Rangaroo. But at the same time, it doesn't. But I am scared of that Pokemon. Right? Miraidon's just so strong. It really is. But we're going to have to lead a trick room user. Uh, we honestly could just go into that same lead of the Alga Incineroar, which isn't bad for us. I'm trying to think of like what they could do here. I mean, they have weather. Weather could be a little bit of a problem. Kind of seems like Pelipper and Miraidon could pair up for Thunders. And that does not look too well for us. We do we don't like that. We don't like that one bit. But I am honestly just gonna go with the Alka and Incineroar here and then bring the Guts Flame War Pokemon in the back end and then probably Wellspring Ogre Pond. You got a lot of water going on here. This could help us out. Or I could go Cress. Cress ain't too bad, especially for late game back end with helping hand, EQs, Lunar Blessings. Yeah, you know, we'll go Cress. We will go Cress. A little bit of support never hurts anybody. A little bit of support never hurts. Maybe I should have brought an Ogre Pond. Again, if they set Rain, we could have did some big time damage. But the thing is, we're trying to thrive out with Trick Room, so might as well bring in their Trick Room Pokemon. So we'll see who they want to lead here. They could go Weather. They could just go straight up Attack with Miraidon. That could get a little scary, and they're gonna do just that. Miraidon Halucha, out on the field. Out on the field. We are gonna be able to fake out one of them. And honestly, we might just want to Terrasize Dialga. I don't even know its Terror type, and fake out the Miraidon. You're going to go in with Electric Seeds. Oh, that's a great combo. Because then you also have, uh, you also have, what's it called? Uh, Unburden as your build. So this thing's flying in speed. So your Terra type is going to be Grass. And honestly, I just think that's perfect here. So I'm going to go Grass Terra. I'm going to go into this Trick Room. And on top of that, just fake out your Rhydon. I mean, we just don't want to be taking big time damage from that Pokemon. So might as well fake it out. And with Halucha being minus one on attack, that's big time for us. So we'll see a Terra type pop out here. This better not be Ghost Me Ride on. This better not be Ghost Me Ride on. Are you Ghost? Okay, you're Fairy. I'll take that. I'll take that. So Fairy type comes out here. We do have Flash Cannon to deal with that. Hopefully you're not Covert Cloaked either. And I do have Snarl too. So after this trick him, I could just start straight up snarling. That could be good for us. That could be good for us. We'll see. We'll see, but, but we hit a big time Terra. I do really like this Terra type, but I'm not a fan of the flying moves coming in from Halucha. But he's just gonna end up going for an upper hand. That's fine by me. And I flinch. Wow. I honestly don't really know how upper hand works, but I flinch. That's fine. I'll take that all day. So I still get off my trick room. I'm ready to flash can. I'm ready to deal some damage. Um, do I just double down into Halucha here? Do I parting shot? I might double down to Halucha here. Let's be honest. Let's be honest. I mean, I could go for Flash Cannon here. I could go for Party Shot. I could just Flare Blitz. You know what? I'm going to go for Party Shot. Let's try to make this thing minus two. Get out Ursaluna and kind of go from there. 
That's something I like. So Flash Cannon's gonna fly here. How much damage are we doing? Dialga bopping this thing. Big time damage on the Miraidon. Then we end up party shotting into Halucha just in case they want to go for like a Brave Bird or something. So I'm gonna bring out Ursaluna or I could just bring out Cress. I mean, Cress could be pretty good. I could just bring out Cress. But you know, I'm just gonna bring out Ursaluna. Just so Guts could trigger this turn and we can get some value out here. So I'm gonna bring back out Ursaluna just like we did the last match. He is gonna go for another Dazzling Gleam. Dazzling Gleam gonna fly here. Doing some nice damage. Yeah, can you soak whatever move he has to offer? Acrobatics? Nah. You're not doing that. Okay, so it looks like an Ursa Luna kind of match here. Ursa Luna looking to get after it. I think is minus two. And they might swap it. So to be honest, I think we just like Lunar Blessing. And then drop her, use our EQs and stuff. I'm just going to save Incineroar for the back. And this one's not looking good for us. As of right now. As of right now. Obviously, Ursa Luna can clutch up. But I got to check out speed real quick. So I wonder if Lunar Blessing is going to come out first. You got 81 and you got 49. So it's going to come out second, which is good. So I could freely go for Lunar Blessing. And I could Facade here and just get rid of you. That's exactly what I'm going to do. I'm just going to Facade. Yep. Withdraw him right on. And who are you going to go into? You're going to go into who? Who you got cooking? Pelipper. So two flying types here. They don't want us. They do not want us going into. Or, yeah, they thought we were going to go into, like, EQ or ground move. But Facade just picks up a big time turn for us. And now we get HP back. That is massive for us. That is massive for us. So Lunar Blessing coming in here. We are healing our burn. But the Flame Orb is just going to put it right back into position. That's fine by me. Beautiful. 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 We love it. So that speed actually works perfectly with Crest and Ursaluna being able to just do that. Lunar Blessing and still get our Guts attack boost. So they're gonna send out their final Pokemon, and it's gonna be Fluttermane. Now, uh, Fluttermane's a little bit of a problem. I mean, I can still go for EQ, which I think I'm gonna do. But I mean, Pelipper's a little bit of an issue here as well. I could just try to take out the Pelipper. Unless you're sashed. Ooh. That could be a little bit of a problem. Pelipper's a problem. Pelipper's a tad bit of a problem. I'm gonna double down the Pelipper, because how many turns are left in Trick Room? Two. Yeah, I'm gonna double down the Pelipper here. I'm gonna go Facade and Moonblast here. And the reason I'm doing that is because Fluttermane could protect. There it is. And two, this thing could be Sash. So this is just a great call for us. It's just a beautiful call for us. You're probably Sash. You're trying to go Hydro Pump into me. Yep. Come on, man. Come on, man. Crash, you better be slower than Pelipper here. I hope you are. Oh my god. I'm so good. I'm so good at this game. Alright. That's a solid turn for us. Now, Fluttermane cannot protect. You're right. I'm probably gonna protect. Now I can send EQ freely. We'll send EQ. We will heal back up our Ursaluna Bear. And we'll go from there. Wow. Big time plays from Jeans here. Big time plays. Targeting the Halucha when we need to. Doubling down in the Pelipper. Reading a Protect. Come on, man. Come on, man. The Hadron Engine is going to come back out here. Terrain's already out on the field. We are just going to go for a... I think EQ KOs regardless. So I am just going to go for a Lunar Blessing. Get that HP back onto the field. And just go for that EQ. So they just canceled the battle. So we are 2-0 Ursaluna clutching up in that trick room. Moving on to our final match. Let's try to use Origin Dialga one more time. And we're going up against a pretty cool team here, right? They got Wimscott, Primarina, Iron Bundle. They also got Mudsdalian. I love Mudsdale. And then Chiyu and Rotom Pete. But I honestly might just go into the same lead. That trick room setup is just so easy for us. It really is just being able to fake out. And then set up trick room with Dialga. It works so well. It works so well. So those are the two Pokemon that I am going to go into. Got to bring Ursuline in back in. And then finally, I am going to go into Ogre Pond. Ogre Pond's just really solid, especially if they don't set the sun. Because let's be honest, we got Ivy Cudgel, which will be super effective onto the uh, Rotom Heat, onto the Chiyu, onto the Mudsdale, and then on top of that, Horn Leech, super effective onto the Mudsdale as well. The Iron Bundle, and furthermore, the Primarina. It's awesome. We love it. We got to go into that. We got to go into that gotta go into Ogrepan. So we'll see. Plus our Pokemon are rather fast, right? If they decide to set up Tailwind, maybe with Whimsicott, then uh, they're gonna be faster than us and Ogrepan can thrive out in Trick Room. So we're 2-0. Ursaluna carried us in that last match, but big time reads from me. Um, they're gonna end up going into Rotom Heat alongside with Whimsicott. Um, we should have fake out the Rotom, set up the Trick Room. Set up the Trick Room. Double attack drop. They're both special attackers. But yeah, Trick Room's got to be set up here. So Trick Room. Ba -ba -ba -ba. 
fake out. And then I can start snarling too. Ooh, love me some snarl. Love me some snarl. This would be big time snarls for us. But dude, I just still can't get over how tall and how massive that this origin Dialga is. It's huge. It's massive. So fake out comes out. You're chipping up some damage onto the road time. We're making it flinch. And they're going to go. They're countering my trick room. How dare you? How dare you do that? Not cool. Not cool. Not cool. Not cool at all. Really, really not cool at all. Not cool at all. Um, we're just going to go for another trick room, I guess. Actually, you know what? Hopefully, you, you try to set up another trick room. We're going for and throwing snarl. Actually, no, we're setting up trick room. And we're just going to snarl. There's no way you do it twice, right? No way you do it twice. Yep, see, told you. Told you. No way you do it twice. Not, not cool. So, it ends up going into that. Are you going for an overheat here? You're going for a trick. It's going to fail. Take that. Snarl coming out here. We can finally get off trick room. Now, I can just finish you off. And honestly, honestly, Sun kind of helps Dialga. It's got flamethrower. It's got flamethrower, which is awesome. It's got flamethrower. So, you got both these guys minus two. We got trick room out and about. Flash cannon can finish you off. And we just parting shot into that thing. Pretty much, I mean, try to get out Ursa Luna. That's our best bet. That's our best bet, because Flash Cannon is going to KO. Or I could just go into, like, Draco Meteor, but let's be honest. I think we should party shot here. I like where we're sitting. Misty Terrain going to come out here. Okay. Actually, halving my Dragon move, so let's be honest. I can't use Dragon moves anymore. That's actually a pretty solid play on the end. It's actually a pretty solid play. So Dragon moves is not going to be our friend. Misty Terrain halves the damage of all Dragon moves on the field. Honestly, I'm kind of upset at that. I wanted to drop a Draco Meteor. <laughs> but Parting Shot going to come out here. We got this thing minus two on special attack now. And I can bring out Ursa Luna Bear. I can bring out the bear. So, dude, this combo has been amazing in today's video. Just just uh, Incineroar alongside Palkia. Faking out, parting shotting, and then getting in the Trick Room Squad. It has worked in both battles. And it seems like it's going to be working here. So he's actually going to take my flame. How dare you? You take my flame worm. And now I'm Choice Scarf. Ooh, we don't like that. We might just want to swap you back into Incineroar. Hopefully you throw out a physical attacker. I really hope that. I really hope that. Because I, I will gladly swap into Incineroar here. And yeah, it's going to be Mudsdale. He's going to be the Mudsdalian of Dales. I'm just going to go Flash Cannon here. We're going to chuck up damage. And, and yeah, I'm just going to hard swap into Incineroar. Let's get that physical attack drop onto that Mudsdale. Dude, give me the choice scarf. How dare you? How dare you? How dare you? So Intimidate gonna come out here. Our time's already minus two on special attack, so not to worry about that. EQ's gonna fly here. Oh, that's looking a little scary. That's definitely looking a little scary. At least we did intimidate it, which is good. Doing some decent damage. Flash cannon gonna fly here. We have high special attack, but this thing's rather bulky. Oh, we halved it. We halved it. That's massive. That is massive. Halving it. And you got eerie impulse. Oh, this thing's just a pester. This thing's just a pester. All right, I see you. I understand. I understand your, your your plays. I understand your plays. We can waste out these suns. I really like our ogre pot in the back end. We have two turns left the trick room. Um, how much damage is this Draco meteor really gonna do? We'll go into Draco meteor, and I will just fake you out. You be impulse. Come on, man. Leave me alone. Leave me alone. Just try and do some big time damage with my Diablo. He ends up protecting. That's fine. He's going to protect. How much damage can a Draco Meteor do? In the Misty Terrain. <laughs> minus two. Maybe minus three. You might try to do another one here. Let's see. Draco Meteor, fine. This is going to do negative six damage. Actually, not bad. Not bad. I will take that damage all day. Over, he's going to fly. You want minus four now. We're able to soak that. And I might just stay in here with the Alga and try to KO that Rotom. That thing is annoying. Mud's Dalian is going to do all this wild stuff. Trick Room has one more turn. Um, now, be, now might be a solid turn for us, us to just swap into Ogre Pond here. And just have it ready for after Trick Room purposes. And then just go into a party shot here. Yeah, I'm with that. I'm with that because Mudsdale is going to go first. Mudsdale is going to go first. Uh, probably going to try to drop another EQ. And if I get out my faster Pokemon, which is now I have a Choice Scarf Ursaluna. <laughs> I mean, we can we can be chilling here. 
I have a choice card for Ursula Luna now. So it's going to hard swap Diablo into Ogre Pond just because if any moves are coming through here, Ogre Pond should be able to soak because I would think it would be like EQ and Overheat. With both of them have attack drops. Yeah, there's the EQ. Not too worried about that. I mean, my Incineroar might be a little worried about that. But my Ogre Pond, yeah, see. My Ogre Pond soaks all day. Easy, easy soaks from. And on top of that, I got the berry. <clears throat> I got the berry. I've got the berry. Now we're able to parting shot and go into Ursula Bear with the choice scarf. And at that point, we don't really need Trick Room. But if we need Trick Room later, we now have Incineroar and the Alka in the back end. So I can fake out and set up that Trick Room. That's massive. It's just massive plays from us. It's just massive plays. And this choice scarf is going to come in handy. It's going to come in handy now this Trick Room's gone. It's going to trick. You're taking my choice scarf back, but you're giving me my Flame Orb. All right, cool. I'll take my Flame Orb back. I was just using that Choice Scarf to my advantage. That kind of hurts. But now, since you just put the Choice Scarf on you, aren't you Choice Scarfed in the trick? Right? That's true, right? I believe that. That sounds true. That sounds true. But from here, you know, I'm just going to Terrasalize Water, go Ivy Cudgel into the slot, and then just go for a Facade into this thing to finish it off. Okay. That's cool. I think he's choice scarf in the trick now that he handed off the choice or he took the choice scarf back. So he's just gonna probably swap items with Ursa Luna again. This is just such a weird matchup. Such a weird matchup. But terrestrializing this uh, Ogre Pond now is a solid move. Look at that damage boost onto the Mud Cell. I know it's defense boost to plus one. That's kind of why I want to terrestrialize. It's like, I, I need to pick up this KO here. I need to get rid of this Pokemon. Can't let it start bulking up. Cannot have that. You shall not have that. I mean, body aspect, get that plus one on special defense, which is gorgeous. And they're going to Terrasalize here as well. This looks like the Mudsdale is coming out here. The Mudsdale going to Terrasalize. Yep. Grass? Steel. I don't mind that. I don't mind. I don't mind Steel. It's better than Grass. I thought it was going to be Grass. Which grass would have been really solid, but I don't mind that. So, yeah, he was forced to go in the trick. You're just handing me my Flame Orb back. I'm cool with that. Now you're dead. So I'm cool with that. I got the choice scarf now. Or no. Wait. Yeah. Yeah, I know. I got choice scarf now. Which I... That's, 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 that's fine. Yeah, I got choice scarf now. He has flame orb. Ivy Cudge are going to do a little bit of damage. They are boosting with stamina. And I am choice into facade now. But I mean, steel terror onto Mudsdown, not too bad, considering I have an Incineroar who is faster. So Flare Blitz be super effective. Body pressing the fly here. Ooh. That damage. Kind of scary. Kind of scary. This thing's just gonna start leftover boosting. I think we should just worry about. I think we should just worry about this left side, right? Whoever's on this left side, because again, my back end Pokemon can really thrive. Flamethrower with the Alga, special attacking with the Flare Blitz. They're gonna go into Chiyu here. So Chiyuski comes out here. Um, he could protect. He could protect. Uh, Ivy Cudgel with KO in one shot. You know, what? I'm actually just gonna go for. Oh no, I can't go for Headlong Rush. We're just gonna double down Chiyu. We're just gonna double down, and I figured it would protect too. I figured, but this is a fine play for me because he's just going to KO Ursula Luna, which is not that big of a deal. And I could just Ivy Cudgel the fish next turn. That's fine by me. That is fine by me. That is fine. So we just got to play this one slow. You end up going for an EQ. That's not going to KO my Ursula Luna. Yep, cool. So only only move that he can really rock out with is body press. Let's be honest. Only one he can rock out with his body press. But I am just going to double down to Chiyu again. Ivy Cudgel, Facade. And I'd be surprised if they go for a double protect and land it. And they're probably going to do that now that I said that. <laughs> I'm going to be so upset. But yeah, Mudsdale's minus two on attack. We intimidate it. We party shot into it. All I can really do is go for body presses. The Dark Pulse flies. Cool. We're lucky we survived that. We're lucky we survived that. Ivy Cudgel going to finish it off. That pretty much wraps up the game, right? Because all I needed was my Origin Dialga back out onto the field. Up against this mud sale. Because I know it outspeeds. I know Flamethrower is going to kill. And how much damage is Facade going to do? Negative 5? Negative 4. <laughs> this thing's stamina boosted. Um, I could just go for crits here. Body Press going to finish you off. And again, I can just bring out the Alga at this point. The Alga coming out and about. Wrap it up. Actually, are you faster than Dialga? I don't think you are. I think I if I remember correctly, when Trickum was out, you were you were EQing before anything. He was just EQing. 
he was just EQing. So Dialga, get on out here. And now I can just go for flamethrower. And honestly, I'm going to swap uh, Ursaluna. I'm going to swap Ursaluna because in some weird instance, if we need to switch our choice scarf, or if you pick up KOs, Facade's not going to do enough damage. We're going to need a headlong rush. We're going to need a headlong rush. But we're just playing it safe here. We now swap back into Incineroar. We intimidate yet again. Flamethrower should fly and finish this game. No problem, correct? Yep, all day. So, a little bit of a longer third battle. Our opponent stayed on the field for a good bit. But hey, we catch a 3-0 perfect record with Origin Form Dialga. There you go, ladies and gentlemen. A 3-0 perfect record using Origin Form Dialga. Now, Origin Form Dialga, absolutely loved it. It has a high special attack stat with a perfect speed for a Trickern Pokemon. On top of that, Flash Cannon, Draco Meteor, and Flamethrower were used a lot, especially because Sun Teams are very relevant right now. So, Flamethrower really thrived out today. But Ursaluna, right next to him, Working perfectly with telepathy, we're able to eat freely, and we showcase that combo really, really well. But guys, that is going to be it for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me. And if you're new here, click that big red subscribe button so you know when all of my videos go live. Seriously, you guys rock out. Make sure you spend positive day, and I'll catch you on the next one. Peace out, everybody.